Kristen Gilbert, the Director of the School of the Arts here at Southwest Virginia Community College, and we're here in the Ellen Elms Gallery for our first student art show. Come on in. Hi, I'm, I'm Sarah Rose, and I'm a student at Council High School, and I started taking this class at Southwest, and now I have my art displayed in this gallery. Uh, everything here is all portraits of people, actual, real people that I found. Uh, it was all done with charcoal pencils and this little pop of color is all done with watercolor pencils. Um, I started with my self-portrait here back when I had my blue hair <laughs> and I uh, continued going between men, women, different races. Something on all of these was unique to me. Her eyes were very green and her smile, I thought, was very, very mesmerizing. So all of them were of unique people that I decided to draw and display. Hello, my name is Haley Blakenship, and I did my art series all on dolls. Each piece is created using acrylic paint, and I chose dolls because I feel like they can have a literal sense or they can be sort of symbolic in a way. And I was kind of interested to see how the viewer would interpret each piece. And I chose like a variety of different color palettes so that it goes from like purples and blues and over here it goes to like pastels and then like oranges and reds. So I wanted it to have like a variety. Hi, my name is Makita Rasnick and I decided to use the concept of fairy core and nature and mainly bug girls and fairies. So I took this concept and kind of ran all over the place with it and I did a lot of mixed media stuff. I started out with acrylic paint uh, for both of the paintings, the ones on the other side. And then I wanted to do some jewelry as well because I enjoy making wearable pieces and so I did a strawberry which incorporates a bug girl because she's holding a strawberry and then I did a mushroom um, then I decided to turn myself into a fairy and a bug girl and this required me to make several different pieces of uh, props so this wig started out just as a green wig and I added other pieces and elements to it as well as adding glitter because every fairy has glitter and then I made these out of clay these are my bug pincers and then I painted some green ears painted myself green and turned into a bug. I also wanted to do some punch needle art and this is my first time ever doing it. And it is my butterfly. One of my favorite creatures ever are butterflies. And then I did this mushroom, which is made out of cardboard and paper mache. And the frame inside also has like 20 year old uh, <laughs> popsicle sticks that hadn't been touched that were in an attic. Uh, the door is also made of the popsicle sticks. So I think it's kind of funny that they're old. <laughs> And then this is my other painting that I did of bugs, and they all kind of have their own names and personalities. So this is Bert, <laughs> this is Philip, this is Apple, and this is Aria. <laughs> Hi, I'm Samantha Turner, and my art pieces are made with watercolor and graphite. Um, my theme for this is kind of a per my personality or who I am. I chose to use rats and cats to kind of portray two different personalities that I see about myself. That I kind of relate to them in some way. So like here, they're kind of clashing. Sometimes they clash just as rats and cats do, but sometimes they get along. Um, in each piece, there's also symbolism in every part of it, if you look. So the jar represents kind of me feeling trapped in myself and had a hard time discovering who I was for a long time. And I started college and discovering who I was, and up here kind of shows me kind of bursting open, I guess, being outgoing and discovering who I was, being more talkative. Um, over here is how I kind of represent who I am as a person and what most people will see when you first meet me is I'm very calm and serene. And this is my show and window into my mind. 